Let's see. What is up, guys? And welcome to another deck profile. And before we get into the deck profile, we're going to be doing our first ever, you know, that we are at, I believe, 1,200 subscribers. So things have been kind of, you know, pretty, pretty good. Like, I'm actually kind of, like, happy. So, <laughs> so, so the first time ever, we're actually going to do a first-time giveaway. Now, I wanted to give back to the people who, you know, watch the video, subscribe, and everything like that. So for the Blue Eyes-themed giveaway, we are actually going to be giving away, you know, nothing too crazy. But we are going to be giving away a Duelist Pack Kaiba, non-first ad Blue Eyes, White Dragon. And then, of course, a Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon because, you know, they just go hand-in-hand. Hand. So... Say, say, enter this, say giveaway. All you have to do is say like, subscribe, and also comment down below what your favorite blue eyes like card is. Like in the OCG, because I know there's some blue eyes cards in the OCG we haven't got yet, and also current TCG. So, and then I will just randomly go through uh, the say names and just pick one at random, and then uh, say I'll uh, say, say message them and I'll get their contact info and so I'll, I'll send them out for you. But without further ado, after that, let's just get into the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Ritual OTK uh, Blow Em Up deck profile, basically. I uh, haven't done an update to Chaos Max in a while. I've always loved Chaos Max. I thought it was a cool Blue Eyes boss monster. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now, of course, you can't have a Blue Eyes Chaos Max deck without the namesake himself. So, of course, we have three Blue Eyes Chaos Max. He is insane. He cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects, and he does have tax of defense. This monster, he inflicts double piercing damage, so this is where most of your damage and OTK potential will be coming from, so definitely three of him. We are also running a built-in Floodgate for the deck, and a Matt, and a Matt Factor Pain the Imagination uh, Draco Overlord. Now, he is a level 8, so getting him out is extremely easy with our advanced ritual art and our other package we have in here. But while he is face up on the field, fusion, synchro, and exceed monsters' effects are negated. So he is just basically a walking floodgate for extra deck monsters, basically. He really, especially if you have to stall for time to get that. Uh, killing now of course blue eyes deck we wouldn't have the uh be blue eyes without blue eyes uh blue eyes white dragon three of them of course and then of course we do run the two alternatives as well so this is kind of our little um pseudo blue eyes uh uh engine i did want to run the abyss eyes because i love abyss eyes it's just a generic g niche card i like the artwork but really it was extremely bricky too bricky in fact even for a blue eyes deck in this build anyway so kept it simple with just uh the standard uh but next we have our ritual uh, search engine. We are running the Drytron engine. Um, I've been I was bouncing back and forth between this and the incantation build, and honestly, I like Drytron a little better in than incantations because uh, their unique way of ritual summoning is actually pretty cool. And plus, they're very consistent with each other. So, of course, we have two uh, Zeta, uh, three of the Alpha. Now, if you don't know what Drytrons do. Um, they, uh, they're, they cannot be normal summoned or set. They have to be special summoned with an effect. Um, uh, of a Drytron card. So you can tribute one other Drytron monster or ritual monster from your hand or field, and they get special summoned from the hand or graveyard. So in defense. And each one has a corresponding effect when they get summoned that way. Uh, Zeta searches out a ritual spell, and um, uh, Alpha searches out the ritual monster. But you are locked into not normal summoning the rest of the turn. So, I mean, it's never a big deal because it's a ritual deck. So that is our main uh, important Drytrons. We also have Delta and uh, Gamma. Uh, Delta is basically, uh, helps kind of like unbrick cards because you can reveal a ritual spell or monster from your hand and draw one. So it kind of helps you dig a little deeper. And then this, um, honestly, it's just in here for the name. Like its effect has never really come up, but you want to have the extra name. Uh, but you know, it's pretty cool. It special summons, uh, from, uh, um, the, uh, gr graveyard. So it kind of just recurs your Drytrons as well. So I really like this engine. Uh, incantations are never a bad budget option as well. I mean, Drytrons are kind of budget right now anyway, but a dry, uh, incantations is nothing against that engine. So really like it. We also do not run, say, Manjus because they conflict with the Drytrons ability to take away your normal sum. So it kind of sucks with that. And then we run three Ash Blossoms, common Ashes, uh, but Fee Ash, still best Ash. Uh, but Ash is just, it's a generic, it's super generic, hits a lot of things that are broad. Uh, you really don't, don't want to run too many hand trips because it does slow down the deck because you really want to see certain combo pieces but i figured ash is uh the kind of the best option in that sense then for our spells we run uh the drytron package continues uh novas 
uh, the two Drytron Ritual uh, spell and two Fafnirs. Now, Nova Special summons a Drytron monster right from your deck, uh, so you can, uh, it, but it does not trigger the monster's effect. You have to remember that. Uh, this only just gets a body on board. It doesn't trigger off the corresponding Drytron's effect. Uh, Mytonius Drytron is the Ritual spell. Now, for those who don't know what Drytron Ritual in, uh, say Ritualine is, they s s basically the quickest way to summarize it is that instead of using the levels, it uses attack points. So if you have a 4,000 point ritual monster, you contribute to 2,000 attack monsters and you can ritual summon it. So that's kind of the um, gist of that. And Fafnir basically searches either or of these. And it has protection for your ritual spell effects so they can't get negated. So uh, pretty dope. It's kind of like your built-in meltdown for the deck. <laughs> So that is it for a Drytron uh, rich, uh, spell package. Now for the rich, uh, the other rituals, we have the two Chaos Form and the two Advanced Ritual Art. This is in here to get Chaos Max out uh, if you don't open up your Drytron package, which does happen sometimes. Um, a Chaos Form is basically a way to continue uh, the classic Chaos Max engine where you can Advanced Ritual Art into a Chaos Max and Chaos Form into another one because the Blue Eyes already is engraved from Advanced Ritual Art. It's just a really good uh, two-punch combo. Uh, for the blue eye stack so kept it in it was really good now searching 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 we have melody of awakening dragon uh searches uh anything uh in this deck blue eyes chaos max alternative you need to pop something it's your searcher for the deck then we have now i bounced around this idea a little bit i uh, i was running extravagant extravagance and testing but drawing into extravagant sucks ass um uh, Especially uh, in your opening hand or later in the game or in the middle of your combo because it sucks. But trade ins always live because you have tons of level 8 monsters and they're bricky as fuck. And this is a way to get them in the graveyard and out of your hand. So trade in, I think, in this deck is very, it's a lot better than Extravagance uh, is. Next, uh, we do two run two cyber emergencies. This is your searcher for your Drytron monsters because it searches them. Like this card is your searcher for the deck. And then the last card in the 40 card main is one monster reborn because it extends from the graveyard to help you go into your exceed plays even a little bit more. So it's your little power off one off. Now that is it for the main deck. We are going to go into the extra deck now. Link monsters, Link Karibo, Anima. Uh, basically a way to get your Drytron monsters engraved. Basically, Link Karibo is that option. Also, Animas, in case you can take anything. Like, Animas, pretty good in that case. Uh, to help feed um, the OTK uh, potential of this deck, we do run one Genonator Transverser. This is basically a uh, uh, creature swap in a Link Monster form. So, basically, you give one of your Drytron monsters with zero defense to your opponent and run it over Chaos Max, it's 8,000 damage. Uh, basically, a good uh, OTK stop right there. Next, we do run Cross Sheep because we Ritual Summon. It draws us two and we discard two. Nightmare of Phoenix for the back row, I uh, hate, so we, because this back, uh, certain back row decks and you stun this deck and stall it, so we want pop stuff. IP Masquerina to go into the classic unicorn combo to spin stuff in case it starts, see if you do open crazy. Uh, also, in case you do go first, you have some type of disruption going us first. Uh, cause once they, cause once your opponent figures out you're going, uh, uh, OTK, if you lose a die roll, it's gonna be a rough game for you. Uh, our exceeds now. We run the one bird. Bird's insane. Uh, this card is insanely good. <laughs> I hope it gets maybe a super rare in OTS because this card's pretty cool. Downer Magician. Dope. <laughs> really good. Uh, Zeus, cause we can make it and blow stuff up. Like, we wanna push, we, this game is all about putting out damage, so why not? So, that's our standard little package there. Next. We have um, we have Galaxy Eyes uh, uh, Prime Phot uh, Photon. This is one. It does insinuate uh, OTK a little bit more, but it's mostly in here uh, for the upcoming engine. Of course, we have the Titanic Galaxy in case we again go in first. We we have some type of negation. Then we have the Dragubion and the Numeron Dragon uh, combo, which will make Dragubion select this, overlay it with Numeron, and then hopefully push uh, say punch for nine thousand damage. And then of course because we do run Dry Trial, we run one. Boom, it made a Fafnir for our to round out our extra deck. So that is it. Like I said, um, we do have that uh, going uh, first uh, uh, package to help not die. Say when your opponent uh, goes to second, but this deck does want to go second all times because you know it's a Chaos Max deck. It wants to end games quickly. Um, so that's it for the deck profile. Um, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to enter the giveaway down below. Like I said, just comment down below. What's your favorite Blue Eyes card to have the potential to win these two cards? Like again, the I say order the uh, say, say giveaway. You just gotta leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And the comment is just tell me what your favorite Blue Eyes card is. Simple as that. Um, probably more giveaways. Uh, 
not super consistently, but I'm just probably going to start getting in the habit of them because, you know, I want to give back to the community. So, again, thank you guys so much. And until my next video, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.